first official home vlog here on Erica Adventures. If you're new here, hi, my name is Erica and I have my husband, Josh, here. That was weird to say. We're newlyweds of two, two weeks? Just over two weeks. Two weeks. And it's a Saturday and we thought we'd bring you guys along for like a little day in the life home vlog. So what's on the agenda for today? Right now, we're running some errands. So we're gonna go to Costco. I have a return at Francesca's and then Josh wants to go to Lululemon. We are one week away from leaving for our honeymoon where we're gonna go to Italy and Greece. So we're so excited about that. And I think later on today, I'm gonna to start trying on some outfits. I have like a bunch of clothes laid out, but I think I need to start like putting outfits together and start eliminating clothes. So that's also going to be on the agenda today. Um, but yeah, right now we're headed to Costco. So we'll take you guys along for that. And yeah, I'm really excited because I've been dying to do a home vlog and I'm excited to that today is the first one and that you guys are coming along. So without further ado, let's go to Costco. lunch while we got home but I want to show you guys like our mini Costco haul now this is very small we usually get more when we go but I didn't want to buy a whole lot of food because we're gonna be leaving soon so we just bought a couple things to kind of get us through this next week first I had to get this magic spoon cereal because I've been dying to try it and my Costco finally had it in stock and I just had it for lunch and it's, it's honestly so good it seriously tastes like Fruit Loops but it's like better for you version so really really recommend that and then we got these skinny dipped uh peanut butter cups which josh has already broken into because they're so good they're basically like a better for you reese's so we got that i got some frozen berries which i always have in my morning smoothies we got these like um frozen chick chicken chicken chicky frozen chicken patties um which are good for like sandwiches or whatever and then we found this euro kit at Costco, which is going to be perfect because, you know, Greece is one of our stops on our honeymoon and Josh has not seen Mamma Mia. So tonight we're going to watch Mamma Mia and have some Euro and drink some wine and kind of get into the vibes and get excited to go to Greece. And honestly, this kit is perfect. It has the pita, the lamb, tzatziki sauce, feta, lettuce, onion, and even like some other veggies it looks like. So that's going to be perfect for tonight because I was like, I kind of wanted to do, you know, like something some dinner to go along with the movie and this was perfect so that is that and oh we also got a costco rotisserie chicken which here's a little tip for you when you get when you get any chicken whether it's at costco or your local grocery store when you get it hot and bring it home immediately like take it off the bone and put it in a container i find that is so much easier to do than if you wait for it to be cold and then try and take the chicken off so that's what i did i just kind of ripped it up and put it in a container and it's in the fridge now so that was super helpful and i also noticed that the costco chickens are now coming in bags versus like you know like a container like this which not sure how i feel about that i mean probably you know less plastic and whatever but when i picked up the bag like my hand was just full of chicken grease which I didn't like and yeah that's basically our Costco haul oh and we got toilet paper which isn't as interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and then we're gonna move on to the next task for the day it's now time to start figuring out what I'm bringing on the honeymoon so right now I'm in our guest bedroom slash my office and I have some clothes hanging up um some dresses and stuff that I want to try all down here is like toiletry stuff shoes um yeah, and I want to start, like, I think today, I'm going to have a packing vlog that's going to be separate that'll come out after this video, but today what I want to do is try on, just try on a bunch of clothes, see, like, what I can mix and match with, see what I really feel comfortable in, see what shoes go with outfits, because, like, I don't want to pack a ton of shoes, I want to pack whatever shoes can go with the most outfits, right? So I think that's what's going to be next. I also want to figure out purses and bags that I want to bring. And yeah, like right now I basically have, I brought, I took out everything that I think I'd want to pack and then I'm going to start to eliminate. So let's go ahead. I think I'm going to do this in our bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the clothes, 
put them on the bed. I'm, I'm already like getting overwhelmed, but it's going to be fine. Um, and just start trying things on. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and do it. Here are all the clothes and shoes I would think I want to bring. Of course, I want to eliminate the shoes, eliminate some clothes. We're going for two weeks, so I'm trying to remind myself, you know, I'm going to repeat outfits. Some outfits I may be able to wash in like our Airbnb and stuff. And yeah, I just got to start trying this on. I get kind of exhausted when I try on clothes, but it's just what I have to do to figure out what I really need to bring. So I kind of have stuff laid out like dresses, like two piece sets, shirts, tanks, shorts, skirts, pants, jackets, purses, and shoes. So I think we're just gonna start trying stuff on and let's see how this goes. First outfit is on and I just got this genius idea that while I'm trying stuff on, I'm gonna take pictures of all the outfits and then I'm gonna go through the pictures and be like, okay, like that outfit, that outfit, that outfit, and then that way I can decide what I'm going to bring. Maybe this is a dumb idea. I don't know, I feel like this is pretty genius, but right now I am wearing, here, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm starting with these denim shorts. I'm just gonna see how many outfits I can make with the shorts because I feel like these are definitely a must that I wanna bring. I really like this outfit. This bag I just got off of Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. I thought this would be good because it's a little bit bigger than a fanny pack. I can store a little bit more in it, but it's also like in front of me, you know, for pit pocket safety reasons. And then I know these shoes would be cute with it and possibly like, these white sneakers too would work, but yeah, definitely. I feel like this shirt can come because I definitely want to bring these shorts and I think this outfit is cute. So I have kind of a funny story about these pants. I wore these pants on my study abroad to Rome. Oh my gosh, 2018. And I kept them all this time. I never wear them, but I was like, do I bring them on my next trip to Europe? But I don't know. They're they're really comfortable and they're super cute, but they're they're a little warm. And honestly, like the the weather right now is looking nineties, eighties. So I mean, maybe like out to dinner. I don't know. I'm gonna put this like if I have enough room pile. But it was kind of fun to bring these out. It kind of brought up some old memories, which was fun. But I just I don't know. I feel like I'm. I'm disgracing them if I don't bring them, which I know that sounds so silly, but uh, we'll see if they'll fit. I also, I'm really trying to be good about packing for this trip because I want to leave space in my suitcase in case I buy anything. Because I would love to buy a dress and be like, oh, this is the dress I bought on my honeymoon, you know? So I'm trying not to overpack, trying to have a little bit of wiggle room. So that way, if I want to buy anything when I'm over there, I have room. So these pants are going to have to be a maybe, but... Yeah, wow, can't believe I've kept them all these years. Honestly, I was about to veto this outfit because I didn't think it felt European enough, but it's really cute and it's super like lightweight and breathable. And I feel like a lot of my wardrobe, if you can tell, is a lot of white because just when you're a bride, you end up just buying a bunch of white stuff. So that's like all I bought this year. This is kind of like an older, like little two piece set. This is from Amazon also. I'll link it down below. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. I had gotten this red one. And you know what? I think it's really stinking cute. And I like that it's bringing like more color to my wardrobe. And also let's throw the bag on with it. Ooh, here we go. I don't know. I feel like this would be a really cute outfit. Like usually when I think of Europe, I think of like maxi skirts and um, like long dresses, which I'm gonna pack too, but I think I might throw this one in there as well because again, it's got like that kind of different color going on. And so far I'm really gravitating to these Birkenstocks and because it kind of matches like with the purse. And I feel like this outfit would be cute to throw on if I'm just walking around or whatever. And again, it's like very, lightweight and breathable and I like how it's bringing some more color into the wardrobe so wow I really thought this one was not going to make the cut but now I feel like it's a must-have. We are about at the halfway point with all the clothes so halfway that's good. I'm already getting tired. Does anyone else like get fatigued when they try on clothes? Honestly when I go shopping like I come home and I'm so tired from just like trying on clothes. I don't know that's kind of sad. Um, but yeah now we all have left is the dresses which is a big chunk. And I think most of these I'm going to bring, but I honestly might eliminate one or two. So let's go ahead and start trying on some dresses. 
this dress is probably one of my favorites in the whole pile. I just got it from Abercrombie and it looks like, you know, a really nice dress. But guys, it is an athletic dress with built-in shorts. It has this amazing material. It is so stinking cute because it's like, it looks like I'm dressed up, but I'm also like wearing something that I could go on a hike in or go on like, you know, do something active in, which is gonna be so nice because of how hot it's gonna be. I am just obsessed with this. I think it looks so flattering. I just gotta figure out which shoes would look best with it. For about an hour now and I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of done with it but it's been successful I definitely have eliminated the shoes we've eliminated some outfits honestly with the dresses that pink one I think it's cute but I feel like I don't love love it so I might leave that at home and then kind of like leave that as like a dress leave that space for a dress or an outfit that I want to buy when I'm over there but the last outfit I need to pick is probably one of the most important ones and that is the airport outfit which is going to be worn for a long time a long travel day um so right now i'm kind of working on that i have i know i want to bring this sweatshirt i have some black joggers and i'm just deciding what t-shirt really to wear or do i want to wear a t-shirt or like a tank top <sighs> gotta decide because so we leave on a friday we leave at four o'clock then we have a connection from michigan from Detroit to Atlanta. We have a connection in Atlanta and then we go from Atlanta to Italy and we basically fly overnight. So I'm trying to be as cozy as possible because I really want to try and sleep on the plane. But I know sometimes on the plane, I either get hot or cold. So, you know, trying to dress in layers. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what is the most comfortable and what is gonna work the most if I need to, you know, take layers on and off. So that's the last piece I gotta figure out. I probably should have started with this, but oh well, we're here. So let's figure out what to wear for the airport. As soon as I started trying on clothes for the airport outfit, I realized I needed to take a break from trying on clothes. I'm getting overwhelmed. I'm overthinking everything. And I just don't wanna be feeling that way when I'm trying to pick an outfit that I'm gonna wear for like 15 hours. So. I'm gonna take a break from trying on clothes. Um, maybe go have a snack, cause I'm already like hungry again. I didn't really have a lot for lunch. Have a snack, sit down, watch some TV, just kind of like let my brain kind of switch off from like overthinking everything. Cause I'm definitely in the overthinking phase right now. And I am thinking about wearing this shirt. So I'm gonna wear it for a couple hours today and see how I feel in it. Maybe this is the shirt that I wear, but I just, I can't, make the full decision right now on what to wear for the airport and that might sound really silly or whatever but I'm just I don't know what it is when I try on clothes and pick out outfits it gets really overwhelming for me and you know I just I just know right now I need to take a break so we're gonna take a break I want to have a snack and let's watch a little tv <music> my head and now I think I know what we're gonna wear to the airport so this shirt which I got some peanut butter on which is great I'll have to put it in the wash I think is gonna be definitely the shirt I want to wear because it is so like cozy and soft but it is also thin so like if I'm hot I think I'll be okay and then I'm gonna wear these black joggers my tennis shoes and then I am gonna bring my sweatshirt too just in case I'm like cold and I want to cozy up and I think that's going to be the airport fit. I'm even considering wearing this top with leggings on, that's a dog, on our first flight. And then basically like wearing that until our flight from Atlanta to Italy. And maybe like on the plane, I might change into the joggers and maybe that'll make me feel like I'm changing into my pajamas and feel a little bit more cozy. But 
If not, I'm just going to wear the joggers. But I think this shirt is for sure the shirt I'm going to wear because, again, it's just so, like, buttery soft. It's from Aerie. Yeah, it's from Aerie. I got it years ago. But honestly, like, it's one of the softest shirts, and that's the whole reason why I picked it. So I think that's going to be the airport outfit. I'm also going to bring, I think, like other like kind of fuzzy cozier socks too so that I can like take my shoes off at my seat and wear these socks instead because I don't want to wear my shoes the whole time so yeah I'm just kind of thinking that through and also probably an outfit to change into once we land because it's going to be in the 80s when we land in this outfit that's not going to last um so yeah that feels good and you know what now I just got to kind of clean up everything that you know I kind of made a mess when I try on clothes but yeah that's that's that we kind of have all the outfits picked which is exciting and then tomorrow I'm going to pack it all up and that'll be a separate vlog that'll be a whole packing vlog but yeah I think I think we made really good progress today with the outfits for the honeymoon <music> just realized it's almost five o'clock wow my day is just kind of gone um like it just went by really fast yeah maxi do you think so this is maxi by the way in case no one's met him yet yeah, he's just hanging out um so i was just kind of getting together some jewelry that i want to bring on the trip and like my little jewelry cases and i think what i need to do is start a load of laundry i want to wash some shoes too for the trip um, cause I'm hoping tomorrow to like put it all in a suitcase and see how it all fits. Um, yeah, like literally where's the day gone? I kind of feel like the morning was slow and then that trying on clothes took a while and now, now it's almost five o'clock and it's almost time for their W-A-L-K. If we say the full word, then they get pretty excited. So I don't want to get him too excited yet. Um... Yeah, let's go start some laundry. I want to wash like some bags too. Like this um, belt bag needs, I mean, it's like just a little dirty. You know, I just want everything as fresh and as clean for the trip as I can have it. Um, so yeah, let's go do that next. <laughs> Smokey, got a question for you guys. Do you want to go on a walk? Do you want? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Yeah, stretch it out for the walk. Good idea, sister. Mhm. Mm oh. Oh, sneeze it out too. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh. Now I don't know what she's doing. Are you ready? We're gonna go. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Oh yeah, what's that? We gotta throw that away. It's dinner time. Maxie has to have a little nap because he drools as you can see. And Smokey's waiting so patiently. Usually she's not very patient. Guys, excited. Here it comes. Okay. Good job. I gotta say, that walk really brought me back to life. And now I have a little bit more energy and I think I'm going to vacuum the living room. Having two dogs, they both, they don't shed that bad, but having two dogs, hair does collect a lot and they are allowed to go on the couch, so this couch needs some vacuuming. So I think I'm gonna do that next. And then before, after that, um, it's almost gonna be dinner time. We're gonna have those euros, maybe start the movie. It's gonna be a good night, but yeah. Let's go ahead and vacuum this up and get this all clean and nice and ready for movie night. I love a little good before and after. So here is the couch before. You're probably gonna need to move, sweetie, but that's okay. So we're gonna get all that dog hair of your guys's get that all vacuumed up you ready he's like what is that yep i know they hate the vacuum <laughs> you're probably gonna have to move bubby i know all right let's do this <laughs> If 
you guys saw that in the last clip, but he was like getting scared of the vacuum. I was like, just go around me, go around me. And he was like, he was hesitant to go. And then he quickly picks up his bone and then runs away. It was so cute. And so he's just been on the other side of the couch as I've been vacuuming, chewing his bone. You like that bone, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah. And now the after. Got all that dog hair all vacuumed up. Couch is looking good. Ugh, nothing better than a clean house. And honestly, vacuuming, that has to be my favorite chore. I don't know if I'm crazy for that. If anyone else loves vacuuming too, let me know down in the comments. But it's honestly just therapeutic for me. I love to just vacuum. I'll do it all day long, which I have to because I have two dogs. <laughs> all right, it is now dinner time. So we're gonna break this bad boy open. But first, wine to drink. And good thing is, since we just got married, we have some wine left over from the wedding. Yeah, she's, she has quite a bit of okay, that could be, this is one of our favorite wines just for like, not special occasion wine, just everyday kind of wine. Oh, That's what's what that? The <gasps> Ooh, okay. That, the famous. that's very fancy wine. That's a special occasion. Wine. Oh my gosh, I forgot we have that one too. Someone gave us the another version of that. Um, I don't want to drink that. No, I don't want to drink that. Either. And then this is another Cayman. No. Yeah, oh. It's another Camus. Okay. With with our, this one's really special. Josh and Erica that was only. For us on our wedding. Well, this is not the bottle they served us. That okay. Was the stash that we had. So these are our options. <laughs> What do you think? Oh. I think we should drink one of the nicer ones. Max Max is here to decide too. Yeah, he's right here. You think this is just a twist top, so I mean it's not anything special. I know, but do you think we should wait to drink that next no, probably not, not wait. Not that, till. no. Okay, do you want to drink this then? Since we're still in wedding season? I vote this or this. Hmm. I kinda I always feel like I have to save that for like a special night. <laughs> Should we go with this one? Okay. Okay, let's open that one. Oh, I think he agrees. Oh my goodness, Max. I forgot I have to pick out my cup, which I don't, I really don't think we have enough wine glasses. <laughs> this is ridiculous how many glasses we have. Yeah, those are, those are regular glasses. Um, ooh, this one my friends got me when we got engaged. It says the one where Erica said yes, because I love friends. Then we have Mickey and Minnie. We have some dog glasses, Michigan State. Oh, this is a cup I got. Um, Hamilton, when I saw it in New York, I kept the cup. That was a great time. Oh my gosh, which one do you want? I think maybe the Mickey one. Really? I was... Uh, or just the plain Jean. I feel like I should do this one because it's like still wedding vibes and we're doing, we're going on our honeymoon. Plain Jean, do you want a dog? Ooh, or do, Michigan State? Should we do this? The decanter? Yeah. yeah, we can do that. Yeah. All right. Well, explain what this is to people who don't know. It aerates the wine, so mm -hmm. it puts more oxygen into your wine. Okay, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna show it being used. It makes it more rich. Okay, <laughs> makes it more rich. Let's let's try it. So this you just pop right on here. Did you get this on Amazon? <laughs> I mean, your brother's got it for me for my oh, birthday. Oh, so for your birthday, okay. But yes, it's I on Amazon. I didn't know where I could let people know where to get it. And then, what do you do? You just you have to tip it all the way like that? Mm -hmm. and that's all it is. Wait, is this the same thing as like a big yes. decanter? Okay, just like a baby version of it. Yes. Which I think we got a big one in our wedding registry. We did. So we're gonna have to crack that open one day. I cannot wait to drink that. It's gonna be so good. And let's make up our pitas or our euros. All right, having the first sip. Tastes like our wedding day. I'm trying. Cheers. Oh, you haven't tried it yet? Sorry. Although, we didn't drink Smooth. this on our wedding day. No, we didn't. We drank the Camus because we were special. Um, we had our own bottle at our table because we were like, it's our wedding day. We want to drink the fanciest of wines. This kit is awesome, though. It literally came with, like, everything and honestly well proportioned because you know Costco has the big proportions. All right, we have our euros done. Max is here 
We're hoping some of us drop some food. Josh has got Mama Mia, Mama Mia geared up on the TV. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner, watch the movie, and I think I'm gonna just close out the vlog right here. So thank you so much for watching today's home vlog, for watching the very first home vlog ever of Erica Adventures. That's very exciting. If you made it all the way to the end, please give this video a big thumbs up. And also let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this home vlog so I know to make more for you guys. It's been a really fun day and I'm so excited for a honeymoon and to go to Greece and Italy. Definitely be sure to subscribe so you can check out the packing vlog that will be coming the following week. So that is all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You cut me loose and set me free.